Hey, Steve, what we got here? Uh, this is that 070, 070 that we got to figure it out. Yeah, that's, when you brought it over here, I said, man, that looks familiar. This looks like something I seen when I was a young kid. And uh, matter of fact, it was a neighbor of mine, a, a older gentleman that worked on small engines. What was his name? His name was Bill. And uh, he that's all he did was piddle on small engine repairs. He had a ton of lawnmowers in his lawn. Lawnmowers, weed eaters, chainsaws. But uh, he was specialized in, in chainsaws. That was his, he loved working on chainsaws. And uh, he was always sharpening chains and rebuilding saws for people. But this saw, I remember very well, he had hanging on, on a shelf on top of his uh, workbench. And this side of the saw would really brought back the memory of this. The weird bubble side? The weird bubble side of it is what made me think about that saw. But I, ne I, I forgot how big this thing was until you brought, brought this thing over. Uh, you probably never really messed with one except for just looking at it. That's, that's right. I you probably never picked it. it up as a 10-year-old as a, right. as a kid or 11, 12-year-old kid. Just remember seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> But it's a unique looking saw, that's for sure. So it started in about 59 with uh, the Contra, and then it morphed into the 070 and the 090. We need to put the 090 cylinder and see if we can get that working. Wow, that would be impressive. I got a 090 cylinder, and I got some spare 70s we could try. I had a factory do it, and they sent me the video. They said it sounded like thunder, but it blew the saw apart. So I don't, I don't know if it needs to be... Better balance somehow, tighter. I don't know if they made a mistake somewhere. I don't know what happened. I don't know what they did. But I heard it's possible. I heard there's several people on YouTube that have done it. Like, subscribe, share, thumbs up. Take care.